Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Euro Truck Simulator 2 video. This is part 41 of my Let's Play. So, let's play. Still over in the UK we are. Let's see if we can uh, hopefully explore some new cities in our new Mercedes truck we just bought in the 39th episode Spectacular. We are in Cardiff. Manchester, we have not been there. It's paying the best price per distance. Ten tons of fireworks. Oh, that ought to go over really well. Bunch of jobs to Manchester, actually. Alright, let's do that. 194 miles? Sure. See, not as heavy a load. Hopefully, the truck shouldn't struggle as much. Uh, the more jobs we do, obviously, we'll unlock upgrades and uh, be able to purchase a new engine. Make our truck a little more powerful. Ah, shit. Red light. Yep. I remember to drive on the right side of the road. Well, the proper side of the road, I should say. Should have drove on the wrong side. I wouldn't have got the ticket. Oh, well. Whatever. Alright. A little choppy here. Okay. We'll take it. Trail right there. Swing in here. Not ideal, but it should work. Attach it, and we're gonna get on our way. green, thank you. We're hitting the road once again. A little, oh. A baby change. You can wait, I'm going. So what is going on guys? the usual chaos here. We get our fall leagues underway until everything's settled and it's always crazy at work. First couple of weeks. It happens every year and then once everything's settled in it's pretty much smooth sailing usually. Please tell me this isn't like all back roads. Don't flash me. Ass hat. So, uh, no real new gaming news to report. No update to the SCS blog. Beautiful. Thought there might be some kind of little blurb or something as we draw closer to the uh, the DLC release. It's uh, September 13th right now, so we're a week away. It said the 20th it would be out, and uh, I haven't seen much about that, so that's kind of interesting. Thought they'd be hyping it up a little more. hoping they would uh, take pre-orders too, just order it and then whenever it's available just kind of get it, but not see anything like that happening let's roll the dice here and get around these knuckleheads alright, straight 
trailer out a little bit. Don't flash me. Really hope there's a motorway along the way somewhere. Wow, she's struggling up this hill. It's not even that heavy of a trailer. We need to get a uh, an engine upgrade ASAP. out until I level up some more. Uh, not much to report. It's the usual little road trip here. No real news or updates. As per usual, what the fuck is this? Ooh, a train. There's something new. I don't think we've hit train tracks in any of my LP episodes yet. I'm gonna race this guy. I'm gonna beat him. Come on. line. Hell yeah. And there you have it ladies and gentlemen, drag racing in Euro Truck Simulator 2. You saw it here first. I do believe, uh, at least to my recollection, that's the first railroad crossing that we've uh, come across in this Let's Play. 41 episodes. Might be mistaken, but I'm sure you guys will correct me if you catch it and I am wrong. Now, this is all back roads. This is going to be a pretty long trip. Looking to do right now with the truck, level up, bigger, uh, bigger engine, better engine, and the top of the line chassis. We should be pretty good. Then we can tweak things out, get some auxiliary lights and beacons and all that happy horse shit. That'll come in time. The uh, engine and the chassis are the big things that I need right now. Especially the engine. Ooh, a little sharp there. Off the rumble strip, dummy. Alright. Some nice speed going down that hill. I was off the gas, too. for me. Uh, 4.27 a.m. in game, huh? It's about what time it actually is here. Jesus. This guy's starting to lighten up a little bit. In game, anyway. It's not so, so pitch black. It's pitch black in real life. At least here. See the moon over there. A little bit. Nah, I'm just blocking it. Yeah, 
should have checked this. Check this out on the GPS. Hasn't been too bad though. I don't mind the back roads so much. Uh, you know, when there's not ridiculous amounts of cars, the cars have been pretty thin, so it's not too bad. I'm really hoping they do something with the AI in this game. Uh, there's been talk about it forever. Hopefully some forthcoming patch uh, still do something with it. Train tracks again. Two in the same episode. Hi. Bye. Perfect time for that railroad crossing. We're pulling up right as the train was leaving and the gates were lifting. Beautiful. Very nice scenery in these back roads though. Starting to get bright. You can see the sunrise off on the horizon a little bit there. Very nice, very, very nice scene. Well, the scenery is beautiful everywhere, but the back roads are really cool. The farms and sunflowers and all that shit. Really, really, really nicely done. And, uh, from what I've seen in the screenshots and videos and stuff they posted of the uh, Going East DLC. Looks really nice, really nice. scenery and stuff. Eddie Stobart trailer. Does this dude have fireworks still? Looks like the same uh, trailer. Oh shit. Look out. Hi there. Roads, so. though. This hill's gonna slow us down anyway, but. Why are you doing like 20 fucking miles an hour? There's like nobody here. Alright, got gas coming up. Let's take a look at the map here. We do get on a motorway, the M53 to the M56, and then we wrap all the hell around the place. What the fuck kind of route is this? Because there's really no other way to do it. So, there's a gas station here, and we'll stop there. I'm a little OCD with topping off with gas, but I gotta watch with this, uh... This chassis, you run, it really doesn't hold much fuel at all. I'm down to, like, just a little over half a tank already. And we've been doing primarily small, uh... Small runs to keep the video length from being too ridiculous. I wish the, uh, the stock uh, chassis handled better, because that has a huge gas tank on it. If you run out of fuel on those, you're doing something wrong, big time. Let's see how many we can get past. Two. Three. Stay clear, stay clear, stay clear, thank you. 
past everybody. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna get on the M53 here, do some motorway driving finally. This gas station coming up. Top off. Going right around you because the AI has no idea how to merge into traffic at all. Fix your game, SCS. The AI is terrible. Otherwise, the game's fucking brilliant. and that's like half a tank. There's no... this... Uh, the mid-range uh, chassis just does not hold fuel at all. The tank is so tiny. But as we level up, we can take care of that. Get some money. We have two drivers on the road now. And then once we pay off our loan, that's when you really start rolling into the money. Get a build up, get some garages going, some different areas. Get your guys leveled up on their long distance. What was the point of that? Overtake me just to get in front of me just so I can fly past you again. M56 now. Apparently the number just changes for some reason because we didn't really exit or anything. Let's hog the middle lane here. Should be able to make up some time on this motorway if it stays relatively straight. And of course now it's all bendy up here. Had to fucking say something. Keep your mouth shut, dummy. Too bad though. Alright, it looks like we're gonna exit up here. Let's get in the left lane. And exit M6 to another motorway. So let's try to keep some speed here. Clear. Thank you. Try to get around this other truck pulling cars. Come on. Come on, I don't want to be stuck behind him. Let's go. Oh, he's getting off anyway. Smell you later. Okay. Get the left lane again. up 27 miles to go. M62 towards Manchester. This would be us.
This was a nice, uh, nice little run. I hate, uh, when you have, like, a run that's, like, 90% just back roads or B roads, I think they call them over in the UK. And you get caught up with a bunch of really slow AI cars and stuff, and you're constantly just rolling the dice as to whether you can pass them and not destroy yourself. The, uh, we're not getting off here. The all, uh, highway runs are, they're kind of nice in a way, but they kind of suck too. Uh, you can make up a lot of time on them, but, you know, you're just driving on a motorway, or highway, whatever. Highway, we call them highways in the states, or interstates, or whatever. Parkways, all different names. But, you know, that gets... You don't have quite the scenery that you do with a, uh, the back road, so... A little mix of both is nice, and, uh... There wasn't a lot of cars on those back roads either. So that allowed us to make pretty good time. Entering Manchester. See the drop off point up ahead there? I remember seeing those orange and red uh, barriers like that, unless it's a construction zone. That was added recently. There we go, Manchester discovered. So we'll do the same old stuff. We'll drop the cargo off, check out what discovery points we have, hit the garage, rest up, all that good stuff. Come on, dude. trying to get so I could drive on the wrong side of the road and get around the light, but it changed anyway. Let's follow this around. Looks like that's the delivery point right here. Tanker. Use some of the street here. Yeah, this is probably not going to go very well, but we'll try it. Going better than I thought. I'll put it I'll put it that way. Swing this in. Gotta be pretty close. No, nope. I don't think it's gonna take. Oh, it did. Nice, sweet. Job completed. Excellent. Alright, 201 miles, just under four and a half hours, a bunch of fuel, 590 XP, 11,387 euros, which will come in quite handy. We've got to get some level levels here though, that's what we need. Alright, let's head to the shop, check out this exploration point up here to the right first. I say that park, uh, that parking job impressed me. Oh, there we go, recruitment agency. How about that? 
Uh, is there another one in this town? I think there is. Yes. Uh, it's right by the garage, too. Beautiful. Okay. You darn. now a three-point turn. Let's go. Come with the gay turn. I can't believe I got that one shot. I'm so bad at those uh, locations like that and I don't, I don't know why. I struggle with them more than any other one really and it makes no sense because there's just shit tons of room there but Trust myself, one shot was far from perfect, but I didn't even think the game was going to take it. Ooh, Scania dealer. That's off. That's where the shop is. We're going to visit this Scania dealer and fix up our truck. If everybody and their fucking brother didn't drive Scanias and Let's Plays, I absolutely would. Alright, should be very minimal repairs, maybe just tire wear or something. Not even 1%, 167, sure. Take it. Alright. Look at that, we're almost like... We're in the ballpark of hitting three quarters of a tank of gas soon and we drove like... It was like 60 miles or something since we filled up. This gas tank's just way too small. Alright, let's rest. Pay our loan installments. Hopefully your drivers bring the money. 4100 from Scarlet. Very nice. And 3400 from Peter. So that covers our loan installments right there. Because they're only 57 I think. 5788. And they brought in... Almost eight grand, if not eight grand. Alright, so we'll leave it off here. Another city explored. A couple more exploration points discovered. Wonderful Scania dealer. Look at the Scania flags waving there. So yeah, that's going to wrap it up for part 41 here. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Thank you for the likes, comments, and subscriptions. Much appreciated. And I will see you guys in part 42. Peace out.